Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Alex Ruthless Barbarian, and welcome back to Flip That Bass. Happy Friday, guys. Uh, if you follow me on Twitter, you know, and if you don't, my PC computer decided to die on me. So that's why I was not able to upload for the last two days, because it took me two days to figure out my MacBook Pro. I think I figured it out, so we should have no interruptions, and I hope the quality is the same, if not better. Please do let me know in the comment, guys, in the comments below if you see any difference, but I don't think there's a difference. Anyway, attack log. Farming has been amazing again. I did not see any issues. I've been probably staying at around 800 to 900 trophies for the last day and a half, but once again, did not have any issues finding loot. The major difference, look at this guys. I am using ridiculous amount of goblins because I no longer have to care about trophies. Now, if you farm in masters or in champions like many suggest, you have to use a lot of gems, first of all. Second, you have to stay up there to get that bonus money. Yes, you will find maybe four or five hundred, five hundred thousand worth of loot bases, but you will not take it all. So for me personally, farming is absolutely best right now at below 1,000 trophies. Once again, the strategy is a little bit different. I'm using a lot more goblins because I want to steal it all and I'll keep dropping trophies because the lower I go, the better it gets, it seems. Here's the first replay, guys. It took me probably five to seven skips to find this base and I really wanted to take all that dark elixir in the middle. 4,174 dark elixir, thank you very much. I will take it all. So what I'm doing right now, I've used my barbarians, archers on the top to clear up some buildings now I'm going to use my clan castle, and as you probably know, I only use two troops in my clan castle. One being hog riders, the other is balloons. Depending if I'm getting bored of hog riders, I'm using balloons and vice versa. Alright, so hog riders took out all the buildings, now let's go with goblins. Now the mayhem is going to start in about 10 seconds. Archer queen, few more barbarians, I'm going to drop remaining archers, and now I have 90 goblins left. Let's send them all in and let's see how much loot they can take from that middle. By the way, a lot of these rushed bases down here use exact the same design with every loot, every storage bin in the middle right next to each other. This is a perfect, perfect setup for a goblin army and that's why I'm using it, that's why I'm loving it. Look at this guys, we've taken every drop of that dark elixir, 4174, and we've taken majority of that gold and elixir as well. This is insane. Yes, I know some people may argue and say, well, I still love, uh, you know, Champion League because of the bonus and because the offering quite often is much higher. I disagree with that. First of all, you would have to use a lot more gems. Number two, you have to constantly worry about 50% to stay up there to claim your bonus and also to make sure that you don't drop trophies. Here, look at this guys, here's another base. All of the loot is in collectors. This is going to be super easy raid. I would probably have to close my eyes, drop a few archers, barbarians here and there, send goblins, and outcome would have been the same, but I kind of tried to do a little strategic move here. I've used my barbarians and archers first, break some walls, get rid of some defenses, and now the goblins are in. Look at this, guys. We're gonna take all of that gold, well, most of it, majority of it, I should say. I'm pretty happy with this outcome. Over 285,000 of gold. This is insane. And like I said, I don't care if I lose or if I win. The uh, bottom line is there are so many bases. There are so many bases. There's so much loot down here. If you guys are struggling, if you guys cannot find loot, I would still recommend to drop down to maybe a thousand, maybe 900 or so, and just go for it. Go with goblins, few barbarians, few archers. You should not have any issues finding this loot. I totally blew that one because I forgot that uh, there were two Dark Elixir collectors on the side and I should have totally gone for it. All right, here's the final replay for today, Tanker. I feel kind of bad for this guy. Once again, as I mentioned, a lot of these bases use the same kind of layout with all of the loot smack in the middle of the base. Look at that juicy dark elixir. If you remember, the first one was 4100, now we're about 1200 dark elixir. This is like two raids over 
5,000 in Dark Elixir. And with this type of army, I'm getting on average like 20 to 30,000 in one hour. This is insane. Absolutely insane. But can't complain. I love it. And thank you very much, Supercell, for making this change. Again, I know some people are not happy, but you just gotta roll with it. Change your strategy. Make some different plays. Figure out your army camps or designs and go for it. Go broke or go home. All right. So 70% once again, even though I don't care for winning battles, somehow I keep winning them and I have to drop trophies. Now here's the final stretch. We're gonna take out every single drop of that loot. The gold storage is going down. And that brings us to 158,000 of gold, 127,000 elixir, and 1,200 of that DE. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Peace out. Stay tuned for more. Please hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't. And until the next episode, peace out.